Smells like dog shit. Everything around here smells like dog shit. So, why start another motorcycling channel? I know, there's, I know there's hundreds of them. Everyone does their own thing. I actually decided a um, short while ago that I wanted to start get a little bit more active online, contributing, creating something, hopefully entertaining people. And um, the, the choice I actually found myself with was either I could start a uh, just a motor vlog like this or start a gaming channel now, I kind of weighed the pros and cons um, if I wanted to start a gaming channel I would have had to invest quite a bit more money because I would have had to get either a better computer something that I can actually game on or oh police or you know a better capture card along with my Xbox 360 or something like that. But when it came down to starting a motor vlog, the only thing I really needed was good camera, good microphone, and that's about it. I mean, that's what I have now, and it's really all I need. I mean, I figured that not only did I already have everything I needed, my riding gear, my bike itself, but um, surprisingly interesting things happen when you go outside. I spent hours and hours and hours a day on a motorcycle. I commute every single day. And I enjoy it. A lot of people get in their cars and they're angry. Mm, gotta drive somewhere. I didn't want to drive somewhere. Then I get on my bike and I still I think it's fun. Even though it's hot as hell outside. The Ford Expedition wanting to crawl up my butthole. It's much fun. I do hate this though. Red lights are fucking miserable. Texas doesn't allow filtering or lane splitting, so even when I am stuck, not a red light, but in traffic, I have to sit pretty right where I am. Luckily enough, there's not always a red light to last that long. Let's try and turn left. Most of the red lights I've seen here in Houston aren't really set on a sequence. They're, they're, they actually work with a sensor. And it's actually pretty rare for that sensor to pick up motorcyclists. So I can sit there for as long as I fucking want. I'm a ghost. Better than public transport, I think. You never know what kind of crazy people are gonna find on the bus. I've had, I've had fun experiences on a bus. I mean, um, years and years ago, my brother and I were actually taking a pretty long road trip and we were extremely young. I don't even know why we were allowed to do this by ourselves. But, you know, we took a, we took a cab to the bus station, bought the tickets on our own, got on the bus, and then all of a sudden we had, we had already traveled this route before. Then all of a sudden we noticed that, wait a second, that bus is, says something else. It doesn't have the name of the place where we're going. Which we thought was interesting. So my brother was shy, I was shy too. I mean, we were kids. I must have been maybe, maybe 11, 10 years old. 12 or 13 at the most. Well, I climbed up to the front and asked Mr. Angry Bus Driver where we were going. And we were in fact going somewhere completely different. Small town out in the middle of nowhere that actually we had never been to before. Had a bit of a no shit moment, had to, um, Beg and plead to get our tickets refunded so we could get actual tickets. But we actually were able to get them. 
and we made it home all right and it was from that day forth the story of oh shit i almost ended up in tejupilco mexico it was a scary thought considering we had never fucking been there and we didn't even know where it was ah traffic i really wish i could lane split right now Especially since it's probably about 95, 96 degrees right now. It is a warm summer day. But I'm almost to my destination, which is good. I think four lane roads like this, especially with so many cross streets, are fucking scary because people really don't pay attention. Every other person you cross by is most likely on their phone. I don't really care when people are talking on their phone, but when people are texting. Oh my lord, does that scare the shit out of me. I am amazed at how much people will not look where they're going. I will just text away on the little phone, text, 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 text. It's actually ridiculous how much a person can not pay attention. Oh, but we have arrived.